There we go. Good morning. Thanks for joining me today for our daily devotion. Glad you're here. Hope you had a great night. Be looking forward to a great day. I've been trying to get on here for a couple minutes and uh, couldn't do it. YouTube would not let me get on. So I'm um, just really happy to be here and um, share this time with you. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a great Friday so far. Today, today is Annette Henry's birthday. So happy birthday, Annette. Hope you have a great day today. And the cat photo of the day is called Slow Realizations. <laughs> if you've watched a hunting cat in action, it's easy to affirm that their reflexes are lightning quick. A scurrying mouse or a darting laser beam doesn't stand a chance in their sight. Cats are born hunters. Unlike humans, their retinas contain many more rods than cones, giving them excellent night vision and enhancing their ability to track fast-moving objects. However, our abundance of cones allows us to view objects in vibrant colors at a more detailed resolution, meaning we're able to detect slow-moving objects that don't even appear to be moving to, to cats. So this is Mojo. Um, and he lives in uh, Renton, Washington, and is going after the little race car on the track. I had one of those. Did you have one of those? I had one of one of those. I forget what they're called, but they're the little Hot Wheel tracks, and you could set up the thing and do the loop the loop and all of that. Um, that was really fun. I think it was might have been my brother's, but um, I got to play with it every once in a while. And uh, anyway. I could just imagine the cat going after that. <laughs> Lucy would Lucy would enjoy that. All right, we've got Philippians 2. So the rest of Philippians 2 today, it's 12 through 18. Um, it's called Stars in the World. Do all things without murmuring and arguing so that you may shine like the stars. Having never taken a course in astronomy, I assumed for years that the stars reflected the light of other bright bodies near them. But no, stars generate their own glow. The word star in ancient Greek can also mean light. And perhaps that word better suits what Paul was thinking. He knew only that only by the light of the word of life in verse 16 could the Philippian believer shine brightly. Their lives should radiate not their own glory, but the word of life at work in them. In a culture of achievement such as my own, shiny trophies are awarded to athletic teams and individuals who excel in their sport. Often schools display these trophies in hallways or in gym foyers. Of course, teachers, parents, and grandparents want to cheer for students whose talents gain them such recognition we want them to shine like stars. But who will reflect the light of Christ for them? Is there a young person you are teaching to hold on to the word of life more tightly than to the world's glory? Let us pray. Shining Lord, let our lives and our love always reflect your brightness. And we give thanks to you through Jesus Christ, your dear son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Yeah, um, my husband is an amateur astronomer and um, knows many of the constellations and um, and how how all of these things work. Um, I mean, he's he's a physicist and chemist and otherwise very very smart guy. And um, he he knows all of these things, and he's constantly teaching me about um, the constellations and the universe and and how things work. Um, and as bright and and beautiful as those things are. And it's so interesting because I had a dream about the constellations last night, um, which is neither here nor there, but um, as beautiful as those things are and as um, awesome as we, and as odd as we are by them and should be, um, 
we are to, to be even brighter than they in the sense that we are to be reflections of the light of Christ, just like the devotion said. We, we, are, we are in this not for our glory, not to say, oh, look at what, what a great Christian I am. No, no, no. We, we are to be more like John the Baptist and be pointing the way to, to others so, and to help them find Christ. And that's why I say be the light, light and love in the world. It's, it's not to point the finger at ourselves. It's to point the way to Christ so that someone might look at us and say, you know what? I want some of that. Tell me, tell me what you have so, so that I can get some for myself. Um, when, when I was a kid, we, we had a, a department store called Mervyn's and it was um, similar. It was out, out West and uh, very similar to Kohl's, very, very similar to Kohl's. And in fact, Kohl's eventually bought them out. Um, but they had this hilarious ad campaign um, about this woman who was so excited about the sale that she would come and, and be at the glass door <clears throat> and, and wait for the store to open. And she'd go open, 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 open. And, um, and when I worked at Mervyn's for one summer and you know, in high school, I worked there and, um, and people would actually do that during the ad campaign. It was absolutely hilarious. It was so, so funny. But, but I often think about that when I think about our faith and when I think about how we share about Jesus and how we share about what a difference God makes in our lives. And, um, and it, and it should, we, we should be, um, sharing God's love and light in such a way that people have their noses pressed up against the proverbial glass and saying, open, I want some of that. Whatever it is that you have, I, I want some of that. How do I get some of that? I think if, if we, if we are, are living our lives like, like that, I was going to say like a Mervyn's commercial. <laughs> That's not what I mean. <laughs> but if we, if we live, live our lives so fully engulfed and embraced in, in the light and the love of Jesus, it is going to attract other people. And they're going to ask us, oh, excuse me. Oh, and they're going to ask us, what, what do you have and how can I get some? I, I pray that, um, that the light of Christ shines that brightly in you and that brightly in me today, that people will, will be drawn to that light and, and want to find out how to get some for themselves because it's very easy. It's very easy to do it. And Jesus has plenty and he's always more than ready to, to share his light and love with the rest of us. Happy Friday. Um, I guess March Madness begins today. So good luck to your team, whoever they may be. Um, I hope everybody plays well and without injury and just has a great time during this tournament. Do what you can to bring some love and light into the world today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday.